My mom said I cannot have a boyfriend. But I love this guy. He's so sweet. I sleep and I just, I dream about him. But he said he wants to have sex with me. Hmm. So how old are you? I'm 17. How old is this guy that you are in love with? He's 42. Wow. <gasps> wow, you are just a teenager. And I think your mom is right. In fact, she's actually right. But Ma, I love him. And the way she was shouting at me, as if I killed someone. <laughs> oh, God, you're really funny. See, our parents, we do whatever they will do because they love us. However, I'll tell you this as a mentor. Starting a relationship without having a clear vision a clear idea about your life, where you're going to, will lead you nowhere. I mean, it's a directionless movement. Well, my love him. I, I know she loves me. I know my mom loves me, but I love him. I love him so much. Wait, I, I, I mean, I know. But you cannot truly love without applying wisdom. Emotions without wisdom will lead to your frustration. Besides, this guy is asking you for sex. And it is sex outside of marriage is a sin and that should be your value. Something you should live by. And so if he loves you, love does not dishonor values. If he loves you, he must protect your value. He should guide your value. He should honor your value. Love protects. Love is not selfish. So when a man is demanding something from you that you should live by, it is termed as selfishness. Sorry, Ma. He's calling me. Oh, okay. We can take your call. Hello? Babe. I'm coming. I might have to book another session with you, Ma. I'm really sorry I have to leave. Please, listen, before you go. You are too young. Don't be more with your emotions. Emotions alone will misguide you. Do you understand? Because your body is the temple of God. Please. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, hi. Hi, babe. Mm, how are you doing, dear? Okay, Mom. Sorry, I have to leave. All right, that's okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Thank you, Mom. Bye. 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 God bless you. Auntie, hmm? the counselor keeps calling me. I'm... Oh, me, Seth, I'm running away from her home. Counselor. Have I not told you to forget? Forget counselor. I said forget counselor. Ah, our father, did they use counselor to get married? Oh, yeah, eh? Sorry. See, let me tell you. Mm? Mm -hmm. Even your mama will they stop you from enjoyment. She was a teenager when she got pregnant for you. Really? Yes. So when I say she forget counselor, I know what I am saying. Do you understand me? Go enjoy your life. I did your back. Um, eh? see, let me tell you something. We're having sex. So. <laughs> Say that again. We're having Hey, we. Oh. You, my smolly. Stop, I'm I'm shy. You are now mature, though. That is what I like. Very good. Yes. Eh? See, carry on. Yes, ma'am. I did your back. Ain't your mom want to talk? Forget her. They hear me so. No, I should stop being with her. Forget that scene. Eh? That's my girl. Ah, ah. You just match your sharp sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I they come, I check my food in the kitchen, eh? Okay, okay I'm coming. No babe. Hey, don't babe me. Hmm? Don't babe me. I just called to let you know that it's over between us. You must be joking. This has to be a prank. Oh, I must be joking. Eh? I said it's over between us. You can't do this to me. After all I've done for you, I gave you my body. That's the point. I say you not get tired. Ah. Now this body matter now, make me break up with you. You not get tired. You be novice. What is style? You see? You don't even know what style is. That is the point. You don't have style. You don't know style. I beg, take care. Bye. Did you just break up with me? I'm finished. My life is ruined. Pregnant? Oh my. Yes. I have been calling you. I've called you several. You've been picking my.
my calls since you left my office that I would have been able to guide you. That's the problem with young people. That's the problem with this generation. I mean, when you should be guided by mentors, you run away from your mentors, your counselors. Look at this now. Look at you. Oh, God, this is pathetic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ma. Is your mom aware? No, I can't even tell my mom. How will she look at me? <laughs> you see? I mean, you are repeating the same pattern with your mom. Your mom gave birth to you out of wedlock. Now you are pregnant outside of marriage. This is it. This is the reality. When you do not live by principles, because life is governed by principles, you repeat certain patterns. A life that is not guided by principles will bring in negative patterns. This is it. So you are repeating the same pattern with your mom. Oh, you are pregnant. What do I do of you in my life? It's okay. It's okay. Okay? Oh, it's okay. It's well. I'm going to help you through this entire process. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. Hey family, family thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our, our video. video. Yeah, do well to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Instagram at the Windows for more videos. Yeah, you want to make a donation or you want to support our ministry, the account details are on the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much. God, God bless, bless you. you. Bye. Bye.